Hello, 1010 players. It is I, the one and only Mr. 10 Frames. Tomodachi Life was released in America on June 2014, and damn, I feel old because this game came out 10 years ago. So the game is about me is on your island, making friends, dating, getting into fights, but eventually solving their problems. You can give them food, clothes, hats, and new interiors for their apartments. When they level up, you can give them a song, generic interior designs, gifts, catchphrases, or even pocket money so that they can go to space for some reason. The first thing I want to talk about is when your me levels up. As soon as you reach to level 20, you can now give them clothes or a hat. After you give them a piece of a clothing or a hat, they'll give you a silver coin or a gold coin as a token of gratitude. The gift that surprises me is that you can give your me a 3DS or a Wii U. It's like they're breaking the fourth wall for some reason. When a me plays the Wii U, you can easily hear that they're playing Game & Wario or Nintendo Land. You can even give them sport equipment such as a baseball bat, a golf club, a soccer ball, even a tennis racket. They can also adopt a cat or a dog. What else do I want to talk about? Oh yeah, the songs or the concert. I love the music genre you pick. There's metal, pop, rock and roll, rap, ballad, opera, techno, and musical. It's super impressive that your me can sing. Like, how does a robot sing? The funniest thing is that you can end the song quickly by pressing the make it stop button. And as soon as you press that button, the whole music stops. Your me will have a wide eyed expression. They'll freeze for some reason and the audience will speak. You can also change the lyrics and make your own. Now, there's something I wanted to point out in the unanswerable Tomodachi Life questions is that who are the audiences? If your island has less than seven Mii's, then who are the audiences? Seriously, who, who are these people? Th this is scary. Are those aliens? Aliens exist in this universe? Next, I want to talk about the Islanders, also known as the Mii's. Your Mii's can interact with other Mii's. They can be friends, fall in love, and even fight. They can also go to the locations such as the beach, the tower, the fountain, the park, the cafe, and the amusement park. They like to do activities when going to these locations. They hang out by themselves or bring a friend with them or their loved ones as well. They can also appear events such as the magic show and four random me's would appear in the Tomodachi Quest RPG style. I think this was foreshadowing because, you know, Miitopia. Mies can also have a chit chat at the cafe at a random time. At the park, you can play a frisbee with two Mies, have a barbecue, and have your photo taken for some odd reason. And let's not forget about the fountain. There's one event that happens at the fountain and that is a rap battle. All they do is rhyme and rhyme to rap until they cannot come up with a word to rhyme with that other word. All of your islanders donate money to the island every single day. I don't know what's it for, but that's nice. So, I made a video months ago called Unanswerable Tomodachi Life Questions, where I feel like things didn't make any sense in this game. There's a lot of things I have to point out as if they're breaking the rules, or as if it still bothers me to this day. Here are five things to point out, so that way I don't bore you guys. Number one, there are two separate islands. There's the big main island and that small island. How does a me get to that island from the big main island? It's not like they have to swim there or fly or teleport. Now, I am aware that there's a train station in this game, but where is it? Where's the train station? I don't see it anywhere in this island. It's not like it's behind the island or if it's an underground train station. Number two, the beach never changes. When it's summer, the beach is normal because the islanders hang out there and to relax. However, when it's the spring, the fall, or the winter, the beach never changes. Like, there's no snow, no leaves, and the water never freezes. Number three, where is the school building? Whenever a me is about to confess to another me, there is an option to which location to confess their feelings. But the school building is nowhere to be sight in this game. Where is it? It's not like it's somebody's interior room. Number four, there's only Christmas music in the background. Because Christmas music only happens once a year, you'll only hear the Christmas music in the background at the food mart, the hat store, the clothing store, and the interior store. But there's no spooky music when it's Halloween or romantic music when it's Valentine's Day? At number five, 
the age-o-matic and the kid-o-matic exist in this game. I understand that young me's want to experience adulthood and adult me's want to revisit their childhood, but you know the scale thing to make your me tall or short is there for a reason, so I feel like there's no point on putting those two gifts in this game. I want to talk about their food reactions depending on what food you give them. The super all-time favorite food happens when a me has a surprised face and gets blasted into space. For the all-time favorite reaction, the Mies will randomly dance in different camera angles, and that's it. For the worst food reaction, it looks like your me is about to vomit. Enough said. And as for the worst ever food reaction, your me will turn gray all over their body, and suddenly they'll melt to the floor, and that shit is scary. The next thing is Mies fighting. So they fight at a random time, and you gotta calm one me down, and then they'll make it up or not and then they'll show like me's throwing things at each other not sharing a teddy bear or not sharing a food sometimes they'll have a huge fight and they actually won't make it up unless one me calms them down a me will ask you if you want to play with them such as cards a football game or even a guessing game you will earn prizes but if you lose a mini game to a me they'll give you a roll of toilet paper or a box of tissues okay i don't even know what those two items are for but all right i'll take it when it comes to relationships me's want to have feelings so there's a 50 50 chance that their crush will say yes but they will say no and that causes them to be sad as well and this can also happen when they want to break up or divorce for all that matter and after they break up or divorce, they show, like, just a montage on what the things they have done. Because it's for memories, I guess. And honestly, that's just sad. Because that actually does happen in real life. Last but not least, I want to talk about taking care of the Mii's baby. You have to calm the baby from crying a lot. You gotta rock up by the baby, play peekaboo, or spin the child around and around, which for some reason the child doesn't get dizzy. I guess taking care of the child is equivalent to Nintendogs from the DS. And finally, once the child is now a fully grown adult, you have the option to send the child to travel the world or move it into an apartment. Well, because the 3DS online server has shut down, that means your only option is to let the child move it into an apartment. That's how a life cycle works. Well, now it's time to give you guys the conclusion by giving out my opinion on this game. I love this game so much. This game is only for me for crying out loud. I am surprised that Nintendo has not made a sequel to this game, nor a remastered for the Switch. It's just amazing to play. The graphics look perfect for a Mi 3DS game. It just matches the aspect to their life. It's just perfect that you get to do activities with them, feed them, and give them something new. I guess I see why people want Tomodachi Life 2 on the Switch, but honestly, is it going to happen though? And why can't Nintendo make more games only dedicated to Miis, like Wii Sports, Wii Fit, or even Miitopia? Well then, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. Let me know in the comments below on what you like about Tomodachi Life. And with that being said, peace out everyone!